हाँ जी गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज द एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड एम ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू फाइंड फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ ए सी मीन यूजिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल वाइब्रेटर राइट सो इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वट इज दिस फर्स्ट थिंग इज इलेक्ट्रिकल वाइब्रेटर राइट इलेक्ट्रिकल वाइब्रेटर दिस वन इज द इलेक्ट्रिकल वाइब्रेटर राइट दिस अलॉन्ग विद स्टील रॉड एंड इट इज कनेक्टेड टू अ स्ट्रिंग दिस इज अ स्ट्रिंग Or you can say a string of uniform thickness. This is a string. This is of uniform thickness, and string is attached to a frictionless pulley. And frictionless pulley, and at the end, it's a lightweight pan in which different weights, uh, or you can say, it's along with fractional weights, right? And uh, along in apparatus, you just uh, take one uh, meter rod. That's also included in the apparatus. meter rod just like here it's mentioned electrical vibrator frictionless pulley a string of uniform thickness a lightweight pan and weight box and a meter rod right this one is the weight box having fractional weights right in this uh, in this you can check it's a 10 gram then 2 gram 2 gram 10 gram and uh, these are uh, weights having a uh different different uh, mass or you can say this is a 500 mg 500 mg weight it's mentioned on the as you can see it's mentioned on this upper it's written here 500 mg right and similarly uh, there are another weights like uh, suppose this is the another weight and it's mentioned here it's 100 mg 100 mg weight or 200 it may it may be 200 mg it is 100 mg it's mentioned here as you can see 100 mg weight similarly there are other weights fractional weights which we are using in this uh, lightweight pan here and uh, how you will perform it we just this is the circuit diagram for uh, this experiment it's a uh, you can say solenoid or uh, electrical vibrator it is connected with the steel rod here it's a electrical vibrator connected with the steel rod and it is connected to a uh, uh, you can say a uniform string of a string of uniform thickness and at the end it's connected to a pulley here it's connected to a frictionless pulley this one is a pulley and it's connected to a Uh, lightweight pan in which fractional weights are to be taken right uh, now how we perform it it's already mentioned that we just measure the weight of the pan it's the pan is here it's a lightweight pan as you can check we just measure the weight of this pan first by using by using weighing balance machine and after weighing you will get the its weight becomes 19.017 gram 19.017 gram right and uh, after this we just tie it with a uh, string of uniform thickness right and hang it on a pulley and uh, length of the string you measure the length of this string by meter rod and it it is already given it's approximately 200 cm and mass per unit length from this you will get m that is weight divided by length mass per unit length it becomes 0.00516 as you can see 0.00516 it's uh, mistakenly written here 0.0516 but it is 0.00516 right i just switch it on right and you can check there are the loops are produced in this string how you perform the experiment i just uh, make the loops but as you can see uh, i think it's vibrating and loops are creating here so we get the this loop and then the fan is a second loop here from this to this point this point as you can see 
if there are loops produced due to vibration in the electrical vibrator you can check this is the first loop similarly this one is the second loop similarly this one is the third loop right and uh, this one is the fourth loop produced and this one is the fifth loop produced and last one is the sixth loop here right and what you will do you just from this edge from pulley edge up to this uh, you just take uh, record the length of this thread from this edge up to this edge of pulley record the length and total length that length divided by number of loops that becomes length of each loop you just write here length of each loop then after that weight in the pan that weight you just get it from here take 1 gram put it in the pan for the first time you don't have to put means you will take 0 gram as a first reading if we take 0 gram as a first reading you just put it here at a 0 gram right and then tension tension t is equal to w plus m dash into g this w is weight of the pan 19 plus 0.017 and m dash is weight in the pan that is first reading is 0 gram so 19.017 plus plus 0 into g take g as cgs in cgs g is 980 cm per second square so tension becomes 19 into 980 that becomes t by getting t l and m this m take these values m l and t and put these values here in this formula m l and t you will get you can see for first reading then take second reading in uh, take second reading we take 1 gram as a weight put 1 gram from this uh, box take 1 gram and put this weight in this frictionless pulley right and put this weight after putting the weight again note the value of uh, number of loops produced in the thread here in this thread and again record the length and divided by number of loops so you will get the length of each loop here and put 1 gram here t again calculate t from this formula w plus m dash into g take w 19.017 plus m dash 1 gram second ready again find the value of frequency n again third time put m dash 3 gram right m dash 3 gram again put this value w plus m dash W 19.017 plus 3 grams into 980. Find the value of n. Fourth, uh, no fourth table, fourth uh, observation. Take 0.123 gram. 3 gram as weight in the pan. Again, note the value of t. Find n. So you just vary the value of weight in the pan. 0.1, 1 gram, 2 gram, 3 gram, 4 gram, up to 10 gram, and you just note different values of frequency. Right after getting all these frequencies, we just add these frequencies. Suppose we take ten ten observations. So take uh, add these ten frequencies divided by ten. You will get the mean frequency, and you just write here the mean frequency that is dash cycle. So just write here. It means uh, this hertz. Actually, the standard value is fifty hertz, and absorbed value you will get it from here. Right. So percentage error you will get percentage error that is. Uh, exact value minus absorbed value over exact value into 100 right so exact value is 50 hertz minus absorbed value you will get it from here divided by absorbed value or divided by exact value 50 50 minus suppose absorbed value is 48 hertz 50 minus 48 over 50 into 100 you will get the percentage error and uh, percentage error should be low so that uh, you will perform so that you can say it's accurate for us and the it should be as low as possible as minimum as possible in this case so this is the again i repeat what is the apparatus used uh, apparatus is first a weighing box or you can say a weight box consists of fractional weights electrical vibrator bulb so that it indicates the electricity is coming then a thread of uniform thickness a meter rod and a frictionless pulley and a you can say 
a light weight balance or light weight pan you have to measure the weight of the pan in the weighing balance machine so these are the uh, instruments or these are the apparatus this is the apparatus used in this experiment to find frequency of ac mains thank you very much